Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a blogger.com blog to your own FTP server. So what you're going to be doing is publishing your own blog on your server under your own domain name instead of having it under blogspot or blogger.com. First thing you're going to need to do is go to blogger.com and if you don't have a blogger.com account, it's simple enough to open one up, go ahead and do that. The very first step you're going to need to do is click on create a blog. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, blog title. We'll call this test blog. And the blog address URL is the next form field you come to. This doesn't matter because we're going to change it anyway. Just go ahead and pick anything you want. We'll call this test blog 899. And the word verification, E V T E Q. And we're going to click continue. Choose a template. This doesn't matter. You can change this anytime you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. All right, my blog has been created. Start posting. I'm going to click start posting. Okay, you're going to want to make a test post because if you don't do this, your blog won't show up on your own FTP server. So go ahead and just create a title, name test, and this is a test post in the description and click publish post and as you can see your blog was post was published successfully and here it is test this is a test and that was our first post but you can see it's published on test blog 899 um, period blogspot.com and we don't want that we want it to be on danielmillions.com so now we need to upload this to our own FTP server so we are going to go back to our blogger.com dashboard and we're going to find that blog that we just created which is right here test blog and I'm going to click on settings and once you're in the settings tab we're going to click on publishing alright you are publishing on blogspot.com we don't want to publish there so we're going to scroll down to the second line. It says, hint, if you want to publish to an external FTP server, you will need to set blogger readers to anybody and use a classic template. Uh, by default, we're already set to bloggers, blog readers to anybody. So we're going to click on the classic template link. And it's going to bring you to your template settings. What you want to do is scroll down to the very bottom of this page. Or you're going to see a link that says revert to classic template. We're going to click that. Just click OK on this little pop up. All right, our settings were saved successfully. Now we're going to go back to settings again. And once again, we're going to the publishing tab. All right, we are still publishing on blogspot.com. All we did was change our template that's going to allow us to be able to publish to our own FTP server. So now you can switch to a custom domain or we can FTP publish to our own ISP server. And this is what we want to do. So we're going to click on the FTP link. All right, we're now ready to publish to our own FTP server. All we have to do is fill in the form fields. In the first field, FTP server we're gonna put in our domain name so I'm gonna go with Daniel millions dot com and you don't need the www dot prefix here just put in your domain name and then the uh, extension alright the next form field you see is blog URL if we read the instructions down here it says the web address where the blog is viewable without the file name this should include HTTP now this is the address where you're going to store all your blog files at and it's going to be the address to your blog on your server. So we're going to copy the HTTP. We're going to paste it here. Once again, www.danielmillions.com and I'm going to click forward slash and I'm going to create a folder called test. This is where I want my blog files to be saved at in a test folder. 
All right, the next field we come to, FTP path. This path must already exist on your server. Well, it doesn't exist on my server yet, so we need to go create this. So what I'm going to do is open up my FTP software, and I use FileZilla. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it's already opened up. I had it ready. All right. If you remember, I named this folder test. So what we're going to do is go over here and create a folder called test. Now before I minimize this, click OK. I'm going to copy this file path. Click OK. Scroll down. And you'll see the test file, excuse me, folder has been created. So we're good. We're going back to Blogger. Now on Blogger, this file path must already exist. We just created it. We're going to paste that file that we just copied right in the Blogger. And the next form field we find is blog file name. This is what you want your blog called, the file. We're just going to name this blog. Alright, let me give you an example of uh, where we're at right now. If we were to copy this blog file name right here, and I threw a little forward slash there and paste this here, this would be the entire address. This is where my blog is going to be once we're done creating the uh, file path for it. So this kind of shows you the little steps that you're taking. So if we were to paste this address right now into our address bar, this URL, our blog would be there if we were done all the steps. All right, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Scroll down. File feed name, Adam XML. You don't need to mess with that. All right, now you're going to use your file FTP username and your FTP password. This is so Blogger can connect to your server and upload these files for you. And that's fine with me. We're going to click Save Settings. Settings were saved successfully. And we're going to click Republish Now. And as you can see, Blogger is publishing files to my blog. Uploading via FTP to DanielMillions.com is what that said in case you missed it. Open our blog in a new window. Okay, here we go. Looks just like it did the first time, right? Except this time, look at the address. The blog is published on our own server now under our own domain name. Now we have www.danielmillions.com forward slash test. Remember, we created the test folder forward slash blog HTML. And that's what we wanted our blog file name to be called blog HTML. There's still one more step we have to take. Excuse me. One more step we have to take. We're going to go back to our blog dashboard once again. Here we are. We're going to click on settings. And we're going to click on archiving. This is where all the old posts that you create are saved to. You're going to need to create the archive paths just like we did for the FTP path. All right, the first field we see is archive path. And the archive path is where the files are going to be saved at. So right here we want to include public HTML and our test folder. Remember this was the file name that we used for our FTP path. You know, on the end of this we're going to call it archives. And this is where we want our archives to be saved under a folder called archives. Next form field is archive URL. And this is the URL to where your archives will be saved. So we'll call this http forward slash forward slash www.danielmillions.com forward slash remember it's test because that's the test folder we created and then archive again. Now we'll scroll down uh, archive file name, you can go ahead and put archive HTML in there or whatever you want to call it. Enable post page, uh, I always leave this checked on yes, that's up to you. Click save settings. And that wraps this up.